Hello students, welcome to Medicorus. This is a requested video from Pranjali Sharma. The video topic is the types of WBC. So before we start with the types of WBC, there are certain terms that we need to know. So first term is leukopoiesis. Next term is leukocytosis. And the third term is leukocytosis. Pania. So let's discuss one by one in brief. Leukocytosis, it means cyto means the cell. The cyto, it, the term is actually represent the cell, cytos. And cis, if it is, it means the formation. So from this, we can easily understand that leuco term is actually for WBC. So we are going to make the cell of WBC. But at the same time, we have one more word and that is poiesis. Poiesis, it stands for something which you newly form. Okay, this is known as poiesis. So, we can consider it as formation. That is originally, if you form something, then that is known as poiesis. And if it is leukopoiesis, that means originally we are going to produce WBC. So, leukopoiesis stands for formation of WBC in a natural way. Now, if it is also formation and this one is a formation, then what is the difference between this two? If you are considered that leukocytosis, it is also formation, but it shows increase in the formation of WBC. So, if formation of WBC will be increased, there will be certain reason because of which it is going to increase. Probably there are some uh, type of antibiotics or some type of cells which are unwantedly grown and because of that cells only now most of the WBC are activated and as the WBC unable to kill those cells so they are increasing their production and they are actually trying to kill the damaged cells or the antigens which are present in nearby the area. So, in that case, if the WBC is increases its number, then that is known as leukocytosis. We can commonly see this kind of increase in number of WBC in the leukemia. I hope you know what is leukemia. In simple word, we can consider it as blood cancer. So, if person is suffering from more and more content of WBC in their blood due to some reasons of antigen, then that person is actually suffering from leukemia. The last one, if it is leukocytopenia, so cyto means again cell and leuco means the colorless cell. So, indirectly, we can consider it as WBC. And penia, if the word is there, it means always decrease. So, here we can easily conclude that if the decrease concentration of WBC is present in the blood, then that is known as leukopenia. Again, this is also unusual process. So, because of certain reason that penia or decrease concentration may happen. For example, in case of AIDS. Or in case of folic acid, in those cases, the production of WBC will be so minimum or it becomes so less or reduced because of which the person can be suffered from any kind of disorder and that, that disorder may kill the person as well. That is, it may be the cough, it may be the fever, anything. Because of this reason also, the person may be died. So, uh, these are certain terms that we need to know before we start what are the WBC types. Apart from that, we have another word and that is known as diapedesis movement. So, WBC movement is also known as diapedesis movement. The reason behind that, diape, it means more than two. Padesis or the pado, this term is actually for the food and cis means formation. That means if the cell can make more than one types of food and it can move, then that is known as diapedesis movement. In a simple language, we can consider it as false movement. And we know the false movement concept is actually for the pseudopodia and the pseudopodia concept is related with the amoeba. 
Therefore, the movement of WBC is also known as amoeboid movement. I hope this part is clear to everyone.